You're a smart insurance man, aren't you, Mr. Neff? Well, I've been at it 11 years. Doing pretty well? Mm, it's a living. You handle just automobile insurance or all kinds? All kinds. Fire, earthquake, theft, public liability, group insurance, industrial stuff, and so on, right down the line. Accident insurance? Accident insurance? Sure, Mr. Dietrichson. Wish you'd tell me what's engraved on that anklet. Just my name. As for instance? Phyllis. Phyllis, huh? I think I like that. But you're not sure. Well, I'd have to drive it around the block a couple of times. Mr. Neff, why don't you drop by tomorrow evening around 8.30? He'll be in then. Who? My husband. You were anxious to talk to him, weren't you? Yeah, I was, but uh, I'm sort of getting over the idea, if you know what I mean. There's a speed limit in this state, Mr. Neff. 45 miles an hour. How fast was I going, officer? I'd say around 90. Suppose you get down off your motorcycle and give me a ticket. Suppose I let you off with a warning this time. Suppose it doesn't take. Suppose I have to whack you over the knuckles. Suppose I bust out crying and put my head in your shoulder. Suppose you try putting it on my husband's shoulder. That tears it. Eight thirty tomorrow evening, ma'am. That's what I suggested. Will you be here too? I guess so. I usually am. Same chair, same perfume, same anklet. I wonder if I know what you mean. I wonder if you wonder. It was a hot afternoon, and I can still remember the smell of honeysuckle all along that street. How could I have known that murder can sometimes smell like honeysuckle? Maybe you would have known, Keys, the minute she mentioned accident insurance. But I didn't. I felt like a million.